Hi uh, guys, Glader here, and today I have another video about the PSOBB server emulator we've been writing, and, well, it's been a few days, but that's because I had to create a library, a generic one, that supported RPG characters and this upcoming feature, customization, which was difficult because I wanted to support at least three different MMOs, um, and so... World of Warcraft, you know, RS, and PSO. Today I'm going to be demonstrating character customization in the PSOBB server emulator with customization. Before we just had characters, you know, they were fat blobs. But now we can actually choose to be a flat, fat blob or not. So let's go ahead and customize ourselves a character and go ahead and show you that the feature does work. So it's the uh, the library is pretty neat. It supports basically the, the concept of slots, and you can color these slots, and you can define these slots and link them to certain uh, things. Like for example, hair. This might be hair four. Eh, well, that's like a slot. It's not too complicated. And this might be costume like I don't know seven or something like that. So, and it also supports proportions, and not just a single proportion. You can have as many types as you want. PSO really only has one type. So there we go. We've got our Chad-like character, big buff, blonde hair. Let's go ahead and bring him into the game. And I'll show you that, yes, in fact, customization, you know, does work. Sorry for this taking so long. I don't, it shouldn't have taken so many days. But it did. So here we are in the lobby now with our new... Chad character, and if we join on another client, you'd see him customized as well as we created him. But I'm not going to do that for now, you'll just have to trust me. So, wow, that's gonna be it for the video today, guys. Customization, um, and generically was the goal, and I think we've pretty much achieved it, so that's pretty cool. Thanks for watching the video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.